Autodesk has launched Maya 2026, promising workflow refinements and AI-driven tools. But with rising subscription costs and no groundbreaking features, does this update justify the hype? Let's dissect the key changes and what they mean for artists. Top 7 Features What's new? Volume Booleans Organic Modeling Revolution Number 1. The Boolean tool now supports volume mode, converting meshes to voxels for cleaner operations. Ideal for blocking creatures or characters, this aims to streamline organic modeling. However, critics argue it's an incremental upgrade over existing tools like ZBrush's DynaMesh. Number 2. Bifrous Liquids Fluid Dynamics Reimagined A new flip solver in Bifrous allows liquid simulation directly in the node graph with adaptive resolution and color fluids. While powerful for large-scale scenes, it lacks viscosity controls and ocean tools from BOSS, limiting its use for detailed FX. Number 3. ML Deformer Speed versus Substance Machine Learning Deformer now loads 40x faster and uses 80% less disk space. The new Apply Mesh Compare heat map helps troubleshoot deformations. But is this enough for riggers dealing with complex workflows? Some users call it a band-aid for deeper performance issues. Number 4 OpenPBR and LoopDevX 1.7 Shading Upgrades OpenPBR replaces Autodesk's legacy shader as a default, improving material consistency across pipelines. LoopDevX 1.7 adds a Generative Textures API, enabling AI-driven texture creation though integration requires coding expertise. Number 5. Flow Production Tracking Contextual Animation Animate in Context Beta Integrates Flow Production Tracking X Shot Grid to scrub adjacent shots in Maya. A boon for continuity, but limited to Windows slash Linux and still in beta. Number 6. Golium Crowd Simulation Exclusive to MNE Collection Golium acquired by Autodesk in 2024, is now bundled in the media and entertainment collection. While it simplifies crowd scenes, standalone Maya users must upgrade their subscription, a costly barrier for smaller studios. Number 7, Arnold 7.4, Shadows and Speed. Arnold's update introduces transmission shadow controls for glass and GPU-accelerated cryptomat. However, compatibility issues force plugins to recompile risking pipeline disruptions. The elephant in the room, pricing. Verdict, should you upgrade? For large studios. Yes, if leveraging Golium crowds or Bifrous fluids. The ML Deformer and Arnold upgrades add marginal efficiency. For indie artists, debatable. Volume booleans and open PBR are useful, but consider Maya Indie's cost versus feature ROI. Holdouts. Test the beta tools, like animating context, before committing. Many enhancements are workflow tweaks, not game changers. Final take. While Maya 2026 polishes existing tools, Autodesk's focus on AI and cloud workflows feels reactive rather than revolutionary. Is this enough to compete with Blender's rapid innovation? Let us know your thoughts below.